know why we're here today. 2012 saw uh, the first Hinchinbrook become the first hospital to be run entirely by the private sector. The Circle took over the running of the hospital to great fanfare, uh, touting themselves as the future of the NHS and privatisation of the NHS as the way forward. Well, since then, and since they have taken over, what they've actually proved is the opposite of what they what they intended. They've they've, been, they've uh, shown that the private sector is not the way forward for the NHS. We've seen that since since Circle take over, we've seen things slowly start to unravel. They started off, uh, you know, with this tremendous fanfare, saying that they were first in the patient satisfaction yes. league tables, and they've since slid down uh, to to 19. Yes. We've seen the National Audit Office report criticising the uh, the Circle deal, the Hinchinbrook deal, uh, and, and the takeover, the lack of consultation, uh, and of course we've seen most recently Ali Parser, the the uh, CEO of Circle, having to or stepping down to pursue pursue other interests, but also on top of that receiving a four hundred thousand pound payout uh, for less than a year's work. Now that is staggering, bearing in mind that one of the reasons Circle were deemed fit and suitable to take over was to make the hospital more efficient. Yes, now there's yes. nothing that is more inefficient than a 400,000 payout to a city banker, Goldman Sachs banker, who's come in and worsened things in the hospital. <laughs> and he's really? had to step down. And that is money, that 400,000 pounds, wherever it's came from, wherever it's come from, whether it's taxpayers' money yes, or yes. Circle's money, is money that hasn't or isn't going into the hospital. It's money that should be paying for the nursing staff that have been lost or disappeared since Circle have taken yes. over. It's £400,000 that should have been gone to the cleaning staff that have been axed since Circle have taken over. It's £400,000 that should have been gone in to improving services and improving the hospital. And why we're here is to say no, to put an end to that, to put an end to the privatisation of our National Health Service. What we want is a fully